Hey guys and welcome to Fez Airsoft, where today I'm going to do a requested video about mags, mag types and how to fill them. Hey guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy this content today, please do consider liking, commenting and subscribing because those interactions help me get seen by the YouTube algorithms and help the channel grow. If you do want to click the link tree link down below, that will take you to my socials, including my Discord, which is a great community. And if you did want to support the channel a little bit more, it's 99 pence a month uh, to be a channel membership using the join button down below and you get all sorts of custom extras. Totally optional, massively appreciated if you do. So this is a requested video then. Uh, from a gent I've been chatting to on Instagram that's getting into airsoft and uh, was interested in asking about how to fill high cap magazines initially and I said I would do a video on him and as I was thinking about it on a drive home one day from work and I thought why am I just going to do high caps let's discuss more types of magazines and show these uh, types of magazines and how to fill them now, just to clarify, this is not every sort of type of magazine that you can possibly get. This is just the ones I have laying about in my house. So I've been and raided my kit box and grabbed a load of different mags. So we'll start then at this end. We've got the most common type of mags here. These are high capacity mags. So these typically hold between 200 rounds for an MP5 mag up to sort of 600 rounds-ish in an AK type mag. And they are sort of signified by having hatch on the top that you open to pour your bbs in and they have a winding wheel on the bottom to compress a winding spring inside the mag so we've got an ak type and we've got an m4 type we'll come back to these in a minute for filling up next we've got a slight variation on the high cap it's still got the hatch at the top to fill the bbs up but instead of having a winding wheel we've actually got a a pull cord. Now I am going to say a massive, massive thank you to Arnold from my Discord, who I didn't realise I got this Battle Axe mag, uh, flash mag, and he went and got one from his friend and videoed it. So I will use his video in here because I want to say thank you to him so much and appreciate the effort he went to massively. The only difference here is we don't have a winding wheel, we just have a rip cord. Again, we'll discuss how to fill that. The sort of extreme version of high cap mags are drum mags. So this particular one is off my Scorpion Mod D and it's just a tiny little um, drum as it works on only about 360 rounds. I've got a hatch there to pour the BBs in and I have to hand wind this particular drum magazine. This one, however, is for an MP5 and it is an electric charged one, um, an electric based one. So we still have a hatch on top, we pour our BBs in and this is battery powered, which we turn on a switch and it uses a, a literal battery powered motor to do the winding for us. This has got about a 2000 round capacity to it uh, to feed an MP5. This is for a, a future build. So that's sort of uh, high capacity mags in general. Moving on to mid caps then. So we've got an AK style mid cap from my recoil AK and we've got a TK45 mid cap. Now these don't have a winder on the bottom, although I will discuss the switch on the bottom in a moment. What these have instead is a spring under compression. And if I release the peg there, you can see there is a follower pops out the top. Now that is sprung loaded and it is on a very long spring that winds around the inside of the mag. We use a special tool. Uh, this one is a small speed loader. Uh, we call speed loader that we put BBs in and we use it to push the BBs in, which we'll discuss again in a minute. That puts the spring under compression and then as you're firing the gun, the BBs have been pushed up and out of the top by the spring. This TK45 mag is exactly the same concept. If you pull on that, there's the follow-up popping out the top and it's just a big long spring that we push down under compression. So those are mid caps. Uh, the, one of the main differences you will notice mid playing is a high cap, we have high cap rattle, so or tactical maracas as a lot of people call them. So as you're running around, the BBs will rattle inside there and make noise, which I'll show you when we're loading them up. Mid caps do not have tactical maraca rattle uh, because the BBs are under compression in a spring, there is no loose empty space for them to, to move about. So they are silent as it were but they are much lower capacity. These particular ones are 60 round mags. This one is 120 BBs, whereas these are hundreds of BBs. Now this can also be switched to what we call a low cap, a low capacity magazine. 
this one has got a switch on the bottom. It's not common uh, that you get these sort of mags, but by flicking that switch, and it does say on the bottom, I don't know how clearly you can see this, uh, 30 and 60. Now this was beautifully painted uh, to go, I sent the wrong magazines, because I'm an idiot, uh, to Geartech Customs with the CMO 77C, which has got a Division 2 paint job. Uh, this was one of the mags I sent wrongly, but he painted it and it looks stunning. But anyway, I digress. So I flick the switch now to 30. This will now only take 30 BBs. So like a real capacity of, of BBs. Obviously, if you're playing at a normal airsoft site on a normal skirmish, most people will probably be running high caps. Those 33, 30 BBs possibly not gonna last you long. Definitely won't last me long because I'm too trigger happy. So that's mid caps and then low caps. Um, we've then got uh, a gas mag. So this is for a pistol. So we put gas in the bottom to fill the gas reserve in here. We've got a valve here where, if I press it, you shouldn't really do this, but just to indicate there is gas in there that we release. So when you're firing, a hammer taps on that, releases gas out, which is used to fire the BB out the gun. We then pull the spring back, a little bit like a mid cap uh, or a low cap, and we feed BBs in there, and they are kept under compression by this spring in here. We then have AP mag. So this is out my electric Glock. Uh, so similar concept again to the mid caps. We just push the BBs down in from the top, which puts the spring under compression. And as you're firing, the spring just pushes them all up and out. So now we've discussed the types of mags. Let's look at filling some up. So we'll start with this AK mag. As I said, we're going to open the hatch. We're going to pour in some BBs. Now, please keep your BBs in either a bottle or a clean bag like this. Um, if you are new to airsoft, one of the biggest advice I can give you, other than good eye protection and good boots, is do not pick BBs up off the floor. Do not try and shoot, reshoot used BBs, uh, because any dirt and anything that gets on those BBs will basically firstly accumulate in your mag, making it feed worse, and eventually that will end up inside your gun and your hop unit, making it shoot worse. So please keep your BBs clean and you know sort of well kept and don't try and use dirty ones, floor BBs, pocket BBs, carpet BBs, dog tune BBs, any sort of anything else. If it's not fresh out of the bottle or the bag, please don't use it. So in this case, what I tend to do is I just cut my fingers around the top there and I just pour in the BBs like that. Now I'm just gonna put a few in just enough to show you. So you can see the BBs in there and I'll fill that up. Usually what I do, Give the mag a little shape just to settle them down and then i'm going to keep the magazine upright and i'm going to start winding Fight interruption there so now we've got the bbs in there and we can see them in there close that up you need to keep the mag vertical or as close to vertical as possible because otherwise it's not going to wind properly if you turn it upside down the bbs all move away from the winding mechanism so keep it upright and we're just going to start winding it will only wind in one direction and as i start winding you'll see the bbs eventually there we go now they are they come up to the top now don't stop winding at this point you need to keep going and uh, this particular one has got space out if i had a winding key to hand i could use a winding key on there if i wanted so i'm just going to keep winding and keep winding and it will take a while now you can get a hell of a lot of bbs fired out of your gun by uh fully winding your magazine spring uh, so it just puts it under tighter and tighter compression, but there is a limit, and you'll hear this limit in a second. There we go. That sound. Click. Click. That says that the spring is fully wound. At this point now, with a bit of amount of BBs in there, I'll probably get all of those BBs just about fed out of the gun, and off it goes. What I would say is, whilst you're playing, with it still in your gun, fire a little bit. If it goes quiet, wind it back up. Don't end up with dead man's click where you jump out, on the, get the drop on somebody, start firing, and there is nothing actually coming out the end of the gun because you didn't wind your mag. So keep them wound. End of the day when you've finished playing. First thing to do, generally speaking, tip your mag BBs out, back into your container again, and keeping them fresh and clean. Doesn't matter if there's the odd one or two in there, that's not gonna hurt it. The last thing to do 
is we're going to release the spring, which means opening this tab, the BBs are going to come out. Now, the sound it's going to make, if you hear that mid shooting, it means your magazine is empty. So listen for this sound. That winding, that that's signifying, and you can see that, that there's not enough BBs to keep the spring under compression. So you know the mag is empty and it's time to take it out and refill it or change magazine. There we go. So that was an AK mag. The M4 mag is exactly the same. BBs go in and you just wind it and wind it until they're at the top and then keep going and it will make a similar sort of clap clicking. What I will show you is what I mean by tactical maracas. As you're moving about now, this, with it being plastic, will dull the noise down a little bit. This one being metal, that's gonna give you away quite easily and quite a lot uh, whilst running about. So keep that in mind that, you know, once you've got used to playing, you may wish to change up to uh, mid caps and high caps. So the next one that I'm gonna show you is the uh, flash mag. So I'm just gonna pour these in here. Again, I've made a cupping shape around there. Any BBs that don't go in, I'm not gonna pick up off the floor. I'm just gonna leave them, so bin them. That'll do. Put a little bit more in this. Right, so the same cancer again, close up the hatch. That can go in my gun and I'm going to pull the cord out. Now, again, I need to keep it more or less upright in general. And I'm just going to pull the cord. And I'm going to keep going until I get the same click. There you go. That's fully wound. Off I go, shooting my gun and everything. What I'm going to do is to honour Lionel for making so much effort from it. I'm going to show his video now. Thank you to Lionel for that. That is sort of testament to how good the community is around the channel that he willingly threw himself into that and said he would do it happily for me. So I appreciate that massively. Now, in terms of this mag then, like a high cap, I pour the BBs in there, in the top, um, and I, I think the batteries are dead. I just click on the switch. Now with this one, it's got two, set, three settings. It's got the off setting, it's got constant winding where it will constantly try and wind the, the magazine up. That's useful if you are constantly going to be firing a lot over a short space of time. The next one is sound based. So there is a microphone on the little um, circuit board inside. And as it hears the gun firing, it will wind and keep winding only whilst I'm firing, which is probably what I'd use most of the time anyway, and then switch it back off. Again, make sure at the end of the day when you're done, you release the BBs out the top using that spring on the top. With this one, again, you pour the BBs in, close it up, and you're just winding it until you get that click again, like you did with the high caps. Now, the mid caps then are a little bit different. This is a speed loader, and it's a tool that we use to load mid caps quickly and easily. Now, this one is a, what we call a pistol type speed loader, because it looks a little bit like a pistol mag. It's quite small and compact, so there's only, about 100 and something, 200 BBs at the most in this when it's fully loaded. So you're not gonna fill too many mags. You can get bigger ones, much bigger ones um, with various capacities. You can get an Odin Sidewinder, I think it is, that's got a turning handle. So you click the mag in, you turn the handle and it does the loading for you. And all we do is with this, is we just pu push it into the top and we start clicking. And you'll see the BBs, or should see the BBs going down the tube. And we need to keep this generally upright Occasionally, you might have to shake the, the speed loader to release the BBs. And we just keep going. There we go. About 30 BBs. Drop those spare ones out. Now that's loaded. Now listen. 
The only thing that was rattling then is the follower that will cut the gearbox off on my recoil AK. If I hold that, I've not actually muted the sound there, just to clarify, that is actually a silent magazine. So all that happens is that clicks into your hop and the spring inside feeds the BBs out. Now, a good way to test if your mags are feeding properly or not, particularly with mid caps, is fill them up and release the BBs into a bottle. If they spray out rapidly, then the springs are fine. If they trickle out very slowly, then there's something wrong with the spring. So let's do that. Look how fast that came out. That means the springs are absolutely fine. Put that back to 60. So that is a mid cap. And the same applies with this one. We just stick it in the top. So if I'm running mid caps, what I tend to do is, because I'm very, very trigger happy, not only do I run a set of mid caps, I have an M4 speed loader that looks like an M4 mag that's a speed loader, um, full, and use a small bag of ammo as well. And uh, once I'm done, at the end of the day, make sure that you empty these BBs out, because if you don't, if you leave that spring under compression for more than a couple of days, you're gonna start damaging the strength of the spring, and you might come back and find that your mags do not feed at all. In terms of these speed loaders, the plunger on top, push it down and there is usually some sort of locking button to leave it closed like that. And then a button again and it releases it and you open the hatch to fill it up. Now, last but not least, we've got our uh, pistol mags. Now, some of these mags um, will fill in by, if you look at this track here, it opens up down at the bottom here. It's much a bit wider. So we pull the spring back and we simply just push the BBs in, oop, missed, in and down, and they fill up like that. Now, the idea is to get the perfect stacking like that, alternating backwards and forwards. They often don't like to do that, so it might take a little bit of fine tuning to get it to work. Some gas mags may need you to, usually like um, gas blowback rifles, will require you to fill from the front here down into the magazine. And then to fill them with gas, this one has a silent fill valve. So as the mag fills up, it'll just get quieter and quieter and there'll be no spraying out of gas. So if I've got it lined up rightly, there shouldn't really be any spray out at all. So I'm just gonna keep it generally vertical. I don't know if you could hear that sound. It went quiet very quickly. To test it's got some gas in there. If I press on that, I shouldn't be able to easily press that in which indicates that there's gas in it, but if I press it hard enough, I can vent a little bit of gas. Now, please don't do that regular or often because it's not healthy. It is good for the magazine to keep at least some gas in there because it keeps the seals um, fresh and under compression, I suppose, and it keeps the, the mag gas tight, okay? So that is a pistol mag. Now, as the gun shoots, it will just feed those BBs out the front. There we go. Which you can do the same at the end of the day, either shoot them out through the, the gun itself, um, or just sort of unload the BBs and put them away. There we go, just like that. And now that's gonna wake my wife happy because we've got more floor BBs, as if we didn't have enough. The last mag type then is the AEP one. Again, I'm just gonna use the speed loader and I'm just gonna push down from the top and fill those BBs in like that. And that's as simple as that. And they will then come out of the gun as it's firing. To release these, unfortunately, there's two little tiny pins in the end there, which you've got to get your nails on. There we go. Just to annoy my wife a little bit more, there's some more floor BBs pinging about. Hopefully the dog doesn't eat them. So I hope that's been useful to you. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the different types of mags how to fill them, how to wind them, a little bit of information about sort of keeping them healthy forever by keeping them empty after use and things like that. Obviously, good advice about only using fresh clean BBs and not floor, carpet, dog tune, pocket BBs or anything like that. Uh, and I hope that meets the needs of people that want to and need to see that. So, hope you've enjoyed that. Please do remember to like, comment and subscribe. If you have got something you would like me to do, please send me a message and let me know so I can sort of do more of these sorts of videos. I will see you next time. Bye.